Hello internet friends, a good morning, a welcome back, this is Sierra and as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing another one of my favorite videos to make every single new year in Japan and that video I'm going to be making today is another Sanrio Fukubukuro unboxing. But before we get into that, I'm going to make a little plug for my channel like I always do. If you guys are new around here, which I know a handful of you guys are because Fukubukuro is something that always brings new people to the channel. My name is Sierra, an American who lives in Japan. Every week I try to make a new video about my family's life here and what we're up to. I also make videos about adoption, lush, veganism, and other stuff, so if any of those things are interesting to you, or if you just want to see even more Fuku Fuku videos as I'm still uploading them, please make sure to subscribe below and hit the bell icon so you'll get a notification every single time I post something that is new and exciting. Anyways, now that all of the official stuff's over with, let's get into the reason y'all are here and I am here, and the reason I'm so excited right now is because we're going to be unboxing my 5,000 yen Fuku Fuku from Sanrio for 2021. Yes, I do realize that this luck bag looks exactly like the Fukubukuru I unboxed last year for 2020. However, I swear it is different because the contents are different. Also because they have the old lucky bag sitting over there torn to bits with random stuff in it because it's really good for storage. Um, but anyways, we're going to unbox this. And then if you guys are watching right now, usually follow Sanrio on Instagram or like just on their regular website, you'll notice that this Fukubukuru that was 5,000 yen is different than the one that was advertised. And the reason for that is because they advertise certain Fukubukuru. There's usually a 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 yen one. And then every individual store creates their own Fukubukuru that's either... 2,000, 3,000, or 5,000. I think my store had 3,000 and 5,000 ones this year, but I got the 5,000 yen one because go big or go home. It's been a horrible year. Let's just start it off right. So I got the 5,000 yen one. I did not buy the traditional Fukubukuru one just because of the fact that I got a preview of some of the items and to be frank, I didn't want the ones that were advertised, so I didn't see the point in buying the Fukubukuru just to get rid of it. So yeah, let's cut this baby open. Oh, goodness, okay. It's a disaster. They have tape and staples in here. They really, really don't want people to get in here. The reason they did that is that I have noticed people, not only in Sanrio, but just any of the Japanese stores, peeking and sometimes opening the Fukubukuru to see what's inside them before they buy them, and you are not supposed to do that. So they like really try to secure these things so that people cannot do that because it kind of ruins the experience for you and or the person who's buying it, you know? Because the whole point of Fukubukuru is when you open it, it's supposed to make you happy because it's called Happy Lucky Bag. So yeah, if you're watching and you're ever shopping for Fukubukuru in Japan, don't open them. It's rude. So yeah. If you guys would like to hear a little fun story about that, I don't remember if it was the last year or the year before, but I'll figure out which haul video it's in and I'll link it in the cards to you guys. This person who was an absolute punk was opening them and I was really mad and I kind of lost it on them. And I'm sure it was terrifying because it was loud and it was probably in English. So yeah. All right. That is done. Now we're going to unstaple it. My goodness. Oh, this thing is full, baby. Like, up to here, it's packed. Go, open, open. Oh, there's a pom pom parin in here. Okay, let's pull out the first item. It's a pom pom parin. I know because I saw it. Aww. He's cute. Obviously, Sanrio is Japanese, but this is like really Japanese. It's pom pom parin, but he's a sushi. Um, this is supposed to be, I guess, rice on the bottom, and so he is a egg or a tamago on rice, which is pretty cute. I know you guys know that I'm vegan, but this is not a real egg, so that's what makes it really cute. The shape is like oblong, it's another one of those ones that's supposed to go on your back. And as you guys who have been watching for a while may have noticed, I have another similar one that I got at a thrift store so they can be buddies together. I might just have to do like a pom-pom purin chair or something in my office. I don't know. Is that embarrassing? I have no idea. Okay, move on to the next item. It feels like some kind of a bag. Oh, there's something on top of it though. No, it's, it's on it. Okay, let's just pull it out. Whoop! It's a bag! Oh, it's kitty! I like that. That's really cute. It can be used as like a massive purse, but how does it look on me? Now, let's move on to the next little art. Ooh, this is a big one. Item in the bag is a bag of stuff. Oh geez, there's like tons of stuff in here. I thought it was like, I felt the big hard plastic thing and for some reason I thought that it was just like a craft kit or something. Wow. Okay, is that everything? Yeah, okay, that's everything that's in the bag. So, put this down here and then I'll just go through this one at a time and show you guys what I got. Alright, so first thing, I don't want to, I'm going to take it out now so it doesn't get wrinkled. It looks like it is a folder of some kind. I don't know if it's a file folder. Yeah, it's like a file folder. It's a uh, Cracho. Uh, he's just like a dog. He kind of reminds me of Snoopy. That's cute. I've seen things like this all over Japan. Um, 
when you get a paper in Japan, it's really important that you keep it in good condition. So a lot of Japanese people always have these. So this is really fun. I like that a lot. It's cute. And the papers go in really nicely. So yeah, we'll definitely have to hang on to that. Okay, let's see what else is in the big bag of fun. Oh, it's another bag. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like a little purse. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. That's fun. Um, it's a little small for what I would usually use, but I'm really happy with it so far. I mean, it's adorable. It's very Japanese looking, so I'll definitely have to hang on to that for a really long time. Okay, and next item is another... What is it with bags? My goodness, it's another shopping bag. Apparently this one is 1300 yen, and it's like a reusable type shopping bag. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys probably know that I've been working on reducing waste for a long time. And I have a lot of reusable bags, but over years they've kind of disintegrated and gotten really gross. So I'm excited when I always get a new reusable bag. But wow, this is really cute, but like I can't imagine actually paying 1300 yen for this. And that's what it says on the price tag. So yeah, pretty good. All right, moving on to the next item in the box. It looks like it is a little mini coin bake blind box, which is pretty cute. Hope you guys can see it. There we go. And um, I don't know what order these are going to go up again, but I had another blind box in my Disney store bag and it ended up being really cute. But if you missed that or if you're here before you're there, the way that works is these blind boxes are really popular in Japan. They have um, a bunch of little pictures of whatever it is that could be inside and then you open it up and you see what you get. Okay. Oh, it's a little frog guy. Cute. It's very small, but it is in fact a coin bank. So cute. I think it's a little too small for anything that I would do with it, but it might look cute like on a little shelf or I could use it as a gift or something. Let's move on to the next thing on the bag. Stickers! These are really fun. They're probably like 150 yen or something, but they're just Sanrio stickers, mostly Hello Kitty. Actually, are they all Hello Kitty and Daniel? Yeah, but it looks like it's Hello and Kitty and Daniel in the summer. So that's cute. I really like that. Okay. And moving on to the next thing. Oh, it's a coin purse again. I have gotten so many little coin purse type things this year. I don't even know what to do with them, but it is really adorable. It's just a pom pom pour in. It looks like he has a cupcake on his head. And then the ears are the zippers. How cute is that? Moving on to the next item. It is a pen and it looks like it is May Melody and it's just, I mean your average pen, but the sticker says 700 yen on the back. So yeah, I don't know that I would have ever paid 700 yen for that pen, but it is really adorable. So cool. Noticing the stationary theme here. Okay, next item is, it looks like it's a cinnamon roll and oh, he has a Hershey kiss on his head. That's funny. I don't know what I think about that though. Hershey is not a vegan company, so don't think I'm gonna keep this one, but it is really adorable. Anyways, speaking of kisses, it looks like there's another Hershey's item in here, which I'll definitely have to sell somewhere. Uh, but it is cute. It's a Hello Kitty um, like little package with Hershey's inside of it. But it's just like a keychain, so eh, not a fan. Moving on, now we have some more stationery. Oh, it's a new Dream Kitty. Oh, it's a little writing set. I like that. That's really cute. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, now <clears throat> move on to the next item. Ooh, I think it's a notebook. Maybe? No, it's not. It's another folder, but it has a lot of stationery inside, so I'll just show it to you guys. Very cute, very pretty. Love it. Okay, now <clears throat> next item is another pom pom purin. Do people not love pom pom purin? I'm gonna have to talk to some of these people because these people are crazy. But it is a little like dusting mitt. That's really fun. I feel like personally, I would never buy something this cute for the purposes of dusting with it. But that's kind of why I love Puka Pukuru because I don't have to pay full price for something that I'm just gonna ruin and wash a hundred times. But that's so fun. Wash, 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 wash. All right, and the next item, which you guys already saw, but I'm gonna show it again to you guys, is this little cute pom pom pour in storage box. 
I think I'm sure I've mentioned this before. I feel like the Sanrio items in the store are always way more expensive than they need to be because they're Sanrio, especially things like this. I mean, like, this box is really cute and everything. However, I don't necessarily think that I'd be willing to pay what they're charging for. There's no tag, but I'm sure this probably costs at least a thousand yen in the Sanrio store. But realistically, I wouldn't want to pay more than 300 yen for this. So even though it's character, but I really like it. It's cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's going to be good. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're getting to the end of our little haul here with one more sheet of Hello Kitty and Daniel stickers. Are they the exact same ones? Yeah, it looks like I got two of the exact same ones, so maybe I will keep one and give one away, or I'll just keep both of them and put them on letters. I don't know. But yeah, that is everything from my 5,000 yen Fukubukuru. In comparison to last year, I think I'm going to have to be honest and say that I think the last year's 5,000 yen store bag was a little bit better, but I'm really happy with everything that I got, especially my little Pomaparin like dusting cloth. That just makes me really happy. So yeah, that's everything for this video. I am very excited to put all this stuff away and start cleaning my house with Pom Pom Porin. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And in the comment section, please let me know which of these items was your favorite and or your least favorite. And also, if you want to let me know what kind of content you'd like to see from me, please feel free to do that in the comment section. Otherwise, we are all set. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.